Hi Virgo, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Dice. This is your Law of Attraction reading for um, February 2021. Sorry Dines, I'm having to take my splints off because I'm not going to be able to shuffle the cards without me. these ones here. Um, I've got a little bit of carpal tunnel going on. My doctor's being a bit of a div. Um, so I've had to go back into splints for a while. So, my darlings, um, I've changed the um, deck that I was using for the um, energy and the happiness card just because I had a bit of a download before I did Tauruses. Um, uh, oh, and I think it was in the fire signs. I think it was Sagittarius. Um, but they've not asked me to go back to the other cards. And in the shuffle, these two cards, like the pre-shuffle and the blessing, these two cards fell out. And I looked at this particular one and I actually saw you, Tor um, Virgo. I literally thought, oh my God, that's a Virgo baby if ever I've seen one. So, darlings, this is the Law of Attraction reading for those of you that don't know an awful lot about the law of attraction it is a law we all practice it every single day we put wishes out there we put manifestations out there i wish i could have um i need all of that sort of stuff and then we go and cancel it because we go i need a new car but i can't afford one and as soon as you say but i can't afford one the universe goes oh dear there's a shame So my lovelies, let's get underway with your reading. Now the whole point of this reading isn't to give you a tarot reading, it's to give you pointers in the right direction around how um, to manifest what it is that you possibly could be manifesting, how well that's going for you, um, if you're embracing it, if you're not dealing with it, if you are dealing with it, all of that sort of stuff. And it's to introduce to you some mantras and some affirmations going forward and how to do those positively. So darling, starting off with your current thoughts and feelings, we got you a wish upon a star. And I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I desperately needed to get the dishwasher on. Um, wish upon a star. Look at that. She's holding her heart chakra. In fact, she's holding a star to her heart chakra. And when I saw that, I just thought, you know, that's so Virgo. That is so Virgo. I've got some really good friends that are Virgos. Known them nearly all of our lives. And I have to say, they're not dissimilar to that growing up. They really weren't. Um, so I got really attracted to that card for you. And I'm seeing many, many blessings all the way around you. So this wish upon the star, I'm getting that. You're already doing manifestations and wishes and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but maybe you don't know how to move it on from there and let your wishes and dreams grow. So let's get into your manifestation um, and wish fulfillment. Make a manifestation or a wish. Speak or write what you want. Ask, believe and receive. And darlings, you've got the Queen of Air. Now the Queen of Air, she comes in as highly intelligent, highly intuitive, she knows her shit. Um, she uses knowledge and wisdom as a way forward to see perspective, to see a way through things. Uh, but she also has a sword, so she is able to cut out what no longer serves her. And I'm kind of getting that part of your manifestation is that you want to be able to cut away what no longer serves you because I'm kind of getting that you're in a cycle of you believe in yourself and then something happens and it steps you back three steps and somebody may say something to you that will make you doubt yourself this queen is coming along to say come on keep manifesting manifest me manifest this energy it is perspective, it is standing in your intelligence, in your intuition, listening to your inner self, telling you that you are right. 
so darlings if that is you if you are kind of like in that energy um i'm kind of getting that maybe you've got some significant air within your birth chart because that is a strong card to come through for the manifestation um ask believe and receive because it is a thought process so when you're doing this when you're manifesting you are manifesting something has happened you are manifesting that dream as if it's happened so we're going to go to your authoring card your storyteller card be your own author tell your story as if it's happened and give it some emotion i'm getting that you're doing that you've got the ten of water this is an ultimate happiness this is you being in tune with the the waves the tides you're allowed that there's this depiction here she's underwater and the love heart is the sun and the rays of the sun are beating down on her giving her this love this emotion this wonderful beautiful feeling um but i'm getting you're confused about the space that you're coming from because i'm getting that you want to come from this loving caring nurturing space where everybody's got everything they need it's it's com a completion of a wish fulfillment um everybody's happy everybody's been fed everybody da, 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 da. but there's still something that you need to cut away there's still something that you need to be doing in order for you to become fully your own author you're there you are there but i'm getting that you doubt that you're there but your intuition is telling you no don't doubt it don't doubt it so let's just go skip your resistance just for a minute and go to your cleansing and clearing stop self-limiting or restricting clean away the negativity and doubt forgive yourself and start saying sorry you've got the journey card this is a journey of night and day so this is a journey physically mentally emotionally spiritually and sensually this is a journey you can't avoid to go on and um, this is you facing up to things that have been and things that will be um so if you are manifesting clearing some old crap out of the way stop manifesting it stop manifest just do it get into action if there's things in your past that you really want to get rid of action it make a list of what it is and then big black thick pen cross it out and then burn it into ashes whatever it takes go and throw it in a river let it flow away um that's part of your journey darlings it's part of your cleansing and your clearing now another um cleansing and clearing thing that you can do apart from writing it all down um is that you can in meditation ask the universe to assist you to take it away um, ask the universe to dissipate it to deal with it um you only have to ask and they will they will sort it they will they will get it done for you but you have to really mean it you really do but this journey is vital for your cleansing and your clearing it really is you need to clear out some of this debris that you've picked up over many years and i'm getting that your journey hasn't been an easy one it's been one of these where you've had a stop start stop start stop start um i'm getting at the moment that you're just beginning a new cycle of start uh, where you've got your wish upon a star or all your manifestation that is lovely but there is some real massive self-doubt there and i'm getting that that self-doubt has been fed to you from other people other people expected you to fail other people expected you not to do good so it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy um, that you need to journey away from um, and you need to get this self-fulfilling prophecy going that you can that you will that you do all of the positives where people have given you negatives so darlings in your inspiration and action you have got the death and rebirth card the baby within the egg is ready to be born it is protected by the serpent there is a massive shift going on for you um, spiritually i would say absolutely it could be physically and mentally as well but i am getting that part of this journey is you allowing yourself to be a child again to make those mistakes to make 
perhaps somebody was telling you you needed to be more perfect than you actually was. Um, perhaps they were holding you um, or comparing you to somebody else. Don't let them do that to you, lovelies. You are this perfect baby in this egg. Every baby is conceived and are born perfectly. They are their creator's greatest creation. Every single one of them. And when you're born, you're born perfect. Um, and then people get involved. Parents, teachers, all of that sort of crap. Social media, whatever. But you need to do this death and this rebirth as part of your journey. And once you've got this going, once you've said, right, okay, I want this rebirth. I'm going to try these things out. I'm going to try to have that leap of faith without thinking about things. I'm going to try to walk into things without thinking too much about it because I know that in my gut I've done the work and I know that it's in my higher good because I've wished upon the star. I've wished upon a star and this is what is happening for me. Once you've got that underpack and this clearing has started, things will start to grow beautifully for you because you've got these two absolutely perfectly right. Absolutely right. Cut things out. Use your knowledge. Use your wisdom. Use your intuition and know that you can go beautifully with the flow of things. So darling, your resistance. This is what's blocking your manifestation or your wish fulfillment. You have got the seven of fire. Seven of fire is like having a bone in your throat. It's like you can't quite verbalize what it is that you want. You may feel a little bit overstretched. You may feel a bit exhausted. But you've got the lotus flower here that is all healing. You've got the serpent for protection. You've got the cats, which back in Egyptian times, they were gods and goddesses. Just remember that when you're dealing with it. And then you've got the beautiful butterfly that is opening up and it is saying to you, come on, you're clairvoyant. You've got intuition up to the wazoo. Now take those thoughts and feelings and put them verbalize them put them into words um it will happen for you but you are resisting that at the moment you're kind of stumbling on words you can't find the words you can't string the right sentence together what you're saying sounds right in your head and then it's coming out wrong through your mouth um darlings if you don't know how to verbalize it write it down first write it down first and then verbalize it So moving on to I love you, the three most powerful words in the world. Say them often and start with you. And then let the love flow to others. Now the other thing that I didn't say about um, your cleansing and clearing and your inspiration is the please forgive me, I'm sorry. You really do need to do this. I'm, I'm kind of like getting, I'll pick this up and they went, oh, don't forget that bit because that's important. You need to understand, you do not need forgiveness from anybody else. You do not need to say sorry to anybody else. But you need to forgive your inner self for absorbing that negativity. You need to say sorry to yourself and your inner self for actually falling for other people's BS. We all do it. We all do it. There isn't anybody in exception around that. But what they're saying to you is once you say you're sorry to yourself and you truly forgive yourself, that will be part of your cleansing and clearing, darlings. So the I love you card for you is the four of air. Darlings, this is taking time. Can you see the plot? taking time to bring things into alignment it's taking time to have those thought processes to allow your heart to absorb what it is that you need to be told and then understand where the desire the power the passion comes from um i'm getting for you virgo that is very difficult for you being an earth card, and I know Virgos, and I know if I was reading this to one of my friends, they'd be going, R are you sure you've got the right people? Are you sure? And I'd be going, yeah, I'm sure. 
time time to take time to take notice that you do love yourself time to take notice of you time to nurture love care and bring yourself into an energy that um I was going to say lovable and they said no it's not the right word and it isn't the right word bring yourself into an energy where you can be kind to yourself do nice things for yourself be energetically positive around yourself and that's by aligning all of this stuff up and understanding where it truly comes from and it truly comes from the heart chakra it really does so darlings when you're saying I love you to yourself, you should be getting rid of old thoughts, old feelings. Um, I just heard the word worth. Why would you think you're worthless? You're worth your weight in gold. Absolutely. Don't let people, do, do not let people tell you that shit. Do not take that back on board. You are worth your weight in gold. You know you are, Virgo. You know you are. So darlings, you really do need to take some time to do this lesson, this bit, this loving yourself and appreciating yourself. If, even if you can't use the word I love you for the time being, use the word that you appreciate what it is that you do. And not for others, what is it you do for yourself? Do you get up in the morning and brush your teeth? Do, basic stuff. Do you brush your hair? Do you make yourself a cup of tea? All the things that you do for yourself, appreciate them. Don't think of them as chores and jobs. You're doing them for you because you love you. Once you get into the idea of that, you will start seeing things from a completely different perspective. And your grateful card, my darlings, be thankful for everything from the smallest thing to the largest blessing one of the blessings that you're going to have is you're going to be able to take that mask off that mask that you've been wearing trying to fit trying to be everything that everybody else has wanted you to be except for you i saw something on facebook today and i've seen it before and it never really quite the penny didn't drop but it did today and it said tetris taught me one thing is as you start to fit in you disappear don't fit in take that mask off be this angel with the five of air be this angel take flight take the mask off you don't need it you don't need it be grateful for, i'm getting that's your biggest problem right now is being grateful for you if you can't be grateful for yourself you cannot be grateful for anything else if you can't love yourself you can't love other people you may have feelings for people, but truly, deep down, love from the heart and the soul um, place. Just give it a go. That's all I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Start telling yourself that you love you. Start appreciating yourself. And start really feeling that. And when you do, your aura will change. Your persona will change. What you put out to the world will change. People will see and be attracted to that change. And then... You will be grateful for having removed that mask. And then you can get grateful for everything else in your life. And we're not just talking about the cars, the houses and all of that. We're talking about seeing the snowdrops come up. We're talking about saying thank you to somebody at a store and seeing their face. Or talking to somebody who may not have spoken to anybody all week. And they've really absorbed your conversation. And it could be the most basic of conversations. Hi, how are you? Weather's rubbish. Whatever. But because you've spoken to them, you've taken that time with them, they will cherish that for the rest of their lives. That's the things that I'm getting that you need to be grateful for. That you need to know that you bring that to the table. You put yourself out there, Virgo. And you bring that to the table at the end of the day. So darlings, no, it's time now. It's time to align all of these things with the I love you. And that will help you remove the mask that is holding you back. So darlings, we're going to move on to your affirmation. You have the 
11 of water, emotion and intellect. You, you really need to marry the two together. You really do, because your affirmation should be that you are beautiful, you are intellectual, you are emotionally um, equipped so well with anything that's chucked at you, um, but you're forgetting you. You're forgetting your emotions, your intellect. You're kind of tapping in to other people. So when you're doing an affirmation, darling, you really need to say, I am my cre creator's greatest creation. I have the ability to remove masks, wish upon stars, manifest um, knowledge and wisdom and tell stories like nobody else on the planet. I am able to journey a perfect journey of enlightenment and discovery. That's an affirmation and that's a beautiful affirmation. So that's what you really need to be doing is affirming that you recognise that you need to appreciate and love yourself. So darlings, abundance. This is your destiny and blessings to look forward to. She has got abundance. She's got the cornucopia next to her. The dragon is overseeing her. He is her protector. While she gets this cup together, this little plate of food, which she is then going to offer out to other people. So abundance, my love, is your blessings that are on its way to you. When I saw this, I smiled. I really did. Oracle's gift is your happiness. I don't know if you're intuitive, clairvoyant, whether you started to read tea leaves or cards or something along those lines, but I am getting that you are getting messages from the spirit realm um, and they're saying that you have the oracle's gift use it be the oracle because you have a beautiful voice and once you take this mask off you will absolutely understand what the oracle's gift is about lovelies wherever you are in the world please be safe know that you are loved and appreciated and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now